naming your system as a whole is a common practice when it comes to the culture of people who have DID and OSCD. System names have a wide variety of what they can be in the first place, anywhere from an object or a thing that physically exists, an idea or a concept, or even possibly a name of one of their alters. When someone talks about their system name, it often comes in the format of I am part of the ring system, or we are the ring system. Some people put the word the in front of, just like we do, and then some people just say things like ring system. There's many, many different reasons why systems would choose to name their system like this, and I hope to go over a couple of them and make it a little bit more clear why your friendly neighborhood system will actually call themselves things like the ring system. The first reason, and the biggest reason, is connecting as the individuals we are, and specifically when it comes to alters. If, for example, I am in a setting where we are very comfortable and open about being a system and I want to identify myself as Lily and not as Silver, it's very hard for me to do so if we don't have a system name and still connect back to the fact that Silver and I are still in the same system. If we didn't have a system name, I would have to say something like, hello, I'm Lily, I'm one of Silver's alters. That's kind of feels a little bit off for multiple reasons. One of which being that Silver is an alter as well. So it would actually be more accurate for me to say, hello, I'm Lily, Silver is one of my alters, even if I front much less than Silver does, because the phrase in general, blank is one of my alters, is situates itself on this idea that there's one individual who has a name and then the rest of the alters are part of them. But oftentimes, Unless the system has a name outside of all of each alter's individual names, that's never an accurate concept. Each alter exists simultaneously on the same level of importance as every other alter in the system. Therefore, I am one of Silver's alters just as much as she is one of mine. By avoiding this whole conundrum of Silver's alters or Lily's alters by using a system name, then that means everyone is put on the same playing field and no alter is considered lesser or greater than any other alter. This way, instead of saying I'm one of Silver's alters or Silver is one of my alters, I can just say I am from the ring system or I am part of the ring system and it feels much more holistic and much more representative of what a system is actually like. When it comes to actually being in spaces with other systems, it's really wonderful to have a system name so you can identify which alters are all in the same system together when you're talking in a group chat. If people simply use Lily or Silver as their names, as the nicknames slowly rotate and as you change your name in the group chat, it's very hard to keep track of who is part of each system, especially if your system changes icons as we do. Therefore, if you set your name to Lily-Rings, it's much more easy to identify which alters are in the same system when they front at different time periods. Another wonderful reason that systems use system names is simply connection with their own system. System names are often very meaningful to each system in one way or another, and they are very rarely randomly chosen. But if they are randomly chosen, oftentimes they'll slowly generate a meeting as time goes on. Choosing a system name is also a really good step when it comes to communication in a system. When you choose one, oftentimes systems have input from all of their alters onto what name represents all of them the best. So choosing a system name and choosing a good one often includes connection and communication with multiple alters, and it's really just a large team building exercise, if that makes sense. And in the way of team building exercises with system goes, this is a relatively low stress one, which means it's very, very good for systems to participate in when building communication. And finally, as my last point, I just want to re-emphasize the meaning behind system names, just because system names often mean so much to the system in question. Ours specifically originates from our first set of fronting indicators, which was a set of colorful rings in all of our favorite colors. Because we couldn't decide on any other system name based on an object, and also because these set of rings were just such an important symbolic object for all of us. It became our system name and is also very very meaningful and symbolic when it comes to all of us being one part a part of a whole. And extra finally, if you do happen to be interacting with a system, make sure to use their system name when referring to them if they have one. So don't say, hi I ran into Lily the other day, one of Silver's alters. Say, I ran into Lily from the ring system because it helps us feel better as individuals and it doesn't put us in that position of being lesser 
and then also it's just a wonderful homage to what our whole system views as symbolic and meaningful and have chosen as our collective name. Thank you, and I hope to see you in later videos.